Welcome to a new aisle tutorial, and today we'll be revisiting the topic of one of the most famous and infamous dinosaurs of all time, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. In this video, I have collabed with some of the best Rex players in the aisle, Bennett and Izo, going over everything from double bites, snipes, swing hits, and more so we can help you improve your Rex PvP. So make sure to not skip ahead or you will miss important details. So stay tuned so you can improve on your Rex. Let's go over the basics of Rex. Rex has 6,500 HP, 1,200 damage of bite force, and 70% leg break chance. With its powerful jaws and tanky build, T-Rex is by far one of the best apexes in the game. But how do you maximize the strengths of your Rex? Let's start from the beginning. Double biting and initial engagement. What is double biting? Essentially, the idea behind double biting is to hit your opponent with the end of the first bite and the start of the new one. So you land two bites on the opposing player. You bite early before rushing in to land the extra hit. However, if you bite too early and the other Rex pivots away, it'll make you miss your bite, which secures the other Rex the bite lead. The idea behind double biting is all about trying to get bite lead over the other Rex, and maximizing the amount of damage you can do with the initial engagement. But what happens if you double and get no leg break? If you happen to not get your leg broke, you want to try and bait the other Rex into biting early, doing bright checks, mock bites, or even look in your face the other way to keep bite lead. If you were the Rex with the broken leg, you want to try and predict the other Rex's entry to avoid losing the bite lead. Now, let's get into the good stuff. Dodges, snipes, swing hits, and tail nips. These are all tricks you can use to pull bite lead back if you are behind and need to regain the edge. Dodges can be as simple as looking your face away, micro break checking, or even baiting to make the opponent bite early. They are crucial in Rex 1v1 and will save you when you're behind or trying to avoid snipes. Typically to avoid snipes, you want to face your right side hitbox towards the other Rex. Snipes are generally landed on the left side hitbox. You can forward snipe, looking your head up quickly around the shoulder region to hit the other Rex as they turn towards you. Or if you're in a tricky situation where the other Rex is behind you, you can hit a backward snipe preventing them from riding you. Another great way to get ahead is with tail nips. You basically are looking for the small openings where the Rex's tail bends towards your mouth, flicking your head up to clip the tip of the other Rex's tail. Another super useful trick and an important thing to understand is when and where to go for swing hits. The Rex bite animation lasts even as the Rex's head starts to go back up. Understanding the length of this animation, which can only be achieved through practicing and turning it into muscle memory, combined with good head movement, can allow you to hit another Rex from far ranges and secure you the bite lead. A good way to make it so the other Rex doesn't see this coming is to look your face away and bite before you turn towards the other Rex to catch them off guard. I do want to mention another thing about sniping. Uh, please don't spam your head like this. <laughs> Um, there is no need to just spam flick your head like this. You, you just can't see, you look stupid, just don't do it. If you're gonna snipe, it's a quick flick and hold, it should be a smooth motion. Not this spamming your mouse up and down stuff. It, you just look ridiculous, okay, please stop. <laughs> so what are some things you should consider in Rex 1v1? The one trick that can be handy is timing your bites. It can subtly increase attack speed if you master and understand the animation. But it's not a make or break. Spam biting is not good to the fact that other Rexes can time and predict you much easier. But in areas like turn fights, spam bites can be beneficial. Just when you do decide to spam bite, it should have a reason and a purpose. You always want to try and be mindful of putting your tail in a position that is easier for the other Rex to nip, along with putting yourself in a position for some of the various snipes. Another thing is your overall movement. A good way to learn this is just by watching the POV of solid Rex mains and just seeing how they approach fights, as this is more of an intuitive thing that comes with experience. Hopefully this video helped you guys 
and tell you some things that you may not have known about Rex 1v1. And special thanks to Bennett and Izo for being kind enough to provide footage and talk and practice with me and educating me further in this subject. So make sure to go check out both of their YouTubes if you want to see some POV of some amazing Rex players. And thank you to Corpsey, Windsor, Toma, Grimm, and all the other people who have helped me with the filming of this video. You guys are amazing. Um, I can't thank you enough. And if you guys want to see more tutorials like this one, make sure to smash that like button and let me know what future matchups I should cover in the future. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.